Hey everybody, what's up? This is Devin Lavore and Michelle coming at you. <laughs> and uh, we just wanted to uh, update you on like our breakthrough story. You know, I know I just put out a video on that recently in regards to uh, God teaching me like, hey man, you're gonna have to fight. It, this is still a battle. Mm -hmm. Don't think that you're somehow you're gonna get this breakthrough and you're gonna be delivered from warfare. It's not gonna happen. Mm -hmm. But uh, the, one of the cool things, though, uh-oh, our little guy is our little guy is waking up. You guys might actually like that. He could be in the video again. But um, one of the cool things that happened this morning in prayer is like I'm reading the Action Bible to uh, my kids, and and I tell you what, every time we get into the Action Bible, it like the the story. It like what is am I trying to say? It mirrors like what we're going through, yeah. you know. Like yes, what was it? What was today? Captain's today, yeah. return, or was that yesterday? No, that was last night. That was last night. What was today? Today was like the rebuilding. Like they oh were yeah, they're rebuilding the temple. It's basically going through the story of Ezra, right? And a lot of times, little parts of it will just like jump out at me. I mean, it's the Bible. It's in like this gra big graphic novel, comic book type form, but it is definitely the word. And I got to this one part that said, at last. Mm -hmm. And it just, man, it just jumped out at me. And it was like, I could not get away from it. I mean, I think I had to stop reading, didn't yeah, I? And I was just like, just... you could tell, right? You're mm -hmm. like, ooh, he's getting something. Yeah. What is what, it? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> I just felt like like the Lord was like saying, like, that's where you're at. You yeah. know? Oh. God was like, at last. It was, and basically, it was like all the... What had happened in the story, see what happened was, anyway, <laughs> what happened in the story is that all the enemies that tried to prevent them from doing what they needed to do and the natural circumstances and laws and all that stuff had been passed. Mm -hmm. And it was like, okay, now is the time to do this. And at last, they were able to put their hands to the work and finish the work. And yeah. I just felt like the Lord was like, that is right where you're at. Yeah. You know? And then Annalise, when she was praying, or our, actually... It our six-year-old daughter. Been before she started praying, but she was just like... That was before. It was during the... Uh, it was right as I was saying the at last part, and I was yeah, explaining that. Right. Yeah, that's right. And she was just like, I feel like God is ready to release the arrow. And she did the motion and everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and even our four-year-old. Yeah. Aliyah, he was like, yeah, that's it. That's the Lord. Or, you know, yeah. in his own little four-year-old way, you yeah. know? And, um, which was just really awesome because that's kind of how um, we've just been comparing, like, our, our journey. Yeah. And is that, like, God has been pulling us back. And then at, that's been, like, at from the, the beginning, point, right? Yeah, he's yeah. going to release the arrow. And that's kind of a vision that he gave us from the start. So it was just really cool. And, um, and then even myself, I was, um, God's given me this like kind of picture along the way. And it's like, I felt like God was like, okay, now we're actually like standing at the Jordan river, just waiting for him to part the waters. And, um, which is really awesome because for a long time, well, we had the picture of, I had a picture of just, it was like Devin standing on this, uh. Like oh, on that cliff. cliff overlooking the Over, valley. Overlooking, and, yeah, the valley and everything. That's where we're going, but dang, we're a far, we're <laughs> far away, man. I'm way up here. You got a parachute. Yeah, and it's like, <laughs> he just, he was, we were standing there and standing there. And then, standing. And then yeah. August, basically August 1st, that night, I felt like God was saying, okay, like, it's time. Like, you no longer have to stand there. And so then, like, August the, 1st? Yeah. Whoa, that was the that was the day I did the uh, eight prophetic peas. Yeah, that was that morning I did. Yeah, that. and it was that night. Oh that, wow! That happened. That's awesome. So see, there really was a change that happened on that specific day. And so, um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so then it's like I pictured him. He's coming back down, and there's just this like we're all camped, like you know how they had their tents and everything's like set and, and back out back in Israel. Yeah, back yeah. in Israel's day. Before and, they crossed the Jordan. Yeah. And I feel like really for this, since then, we've just been kind of, we've been um, packing. And and God gave me this picture of like, as we're packing, he's kind of going, okay, 
that. We don't want that to go. We're going to take this. Oh, I want to give you this so you can right. take it with you. And that's when God started and, doing and that, all the, the yeah, heart God stuff was doing just for both of us. Yeah, a ton of heart know? stuff. And then... I love you. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> and then on August... It was actually August 14th. I feel like that's kind of... That night was... I, I was sensing that we were... Um, graduating and we just oh, yeah. kind of I had him, I told him about that yeah so video. Yeah. Um, but you keep saying I mean you take share your story yeah <laughs> <laughs> but just that we were graduating and kind of like to take time to just reminisce and like kind of go back through like all that God has brought us through mm -hmm. which was really awesome it and we awesome. just kind of worshiped really him and then for myself he he we probably was, listened to like 13, 14 <laughs> worship songs that we've been listening to throughout this whole journey and just yeah. we never got tired of any of them. Yeah. And then I felt like for myself, God just scooped out like the last, well, not the last forever. That was but a big night. It was a big scoop. That was a major. <laughs> of um, Woo! just uh, heart <laughs> issues. And it was awesome. It just got scooped and dumped. And then it's, so then I felt like God, it was kind of like, okay, you say goodbye to like, that time, that time is over and things are changing. And um, I had the picture yesterday of, it's like the wick has been lit and so it's starting to burn and there's gonna be an explosion. Another <laughs> reason why I was so super excited yesterday yeah. and I was just like, ain't nothing happening. I don't <laughs> even hear the sizzle of the wick <laughs> going on. Like, nothing's going on. Yeah. But it was God showing us what's going on in the spirit, mm -hmm. right? And I, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's almost in my head with the picture of us, it's like, okay, we've packed up all our stuff on graduation night, and then we're just walking, and now, today, we're we're standing in front of the Jordan, and it's like... Or we're standing in front of the palace door. Yeah, or all you're these standing... All these different visions, it's, you know? It's the same idea, like, you're, mm -hmm. you're ready. Yeah. Like, everything is ready, everything is set, all that needs to happen is God. God's move, God's yep. explosion, God's opening the door, Him opening, parting the seas. And so that's just kind of where we're at right now. And, and that's why the at last really hit me. It was, I just really felt like the Lord was like, all right, that snake's gone. It's it's fleeing. I mean, I got a couple religious things that I had to deal with, which I'm uploading. You've already seen that video. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, God's like, all right, that's past. That's, we, I've, I've firmly established in your heart that you are going to have to be dealing with this. Now let's get back to the fun stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, because in that vision, remember when the door blew open and the winds were coming, there was like a period of silence, a short little period of silence where it seemed like nothing was happening. I'm totally spacing out right now because that's like I didn't even realize that. Like and that's kind of like what we've been experiencing a little bit because the the snake wasn't there, but then there was this just complete quiet, and then all of a sudden the winds blew in, and you know. And so it was just, it's just really cool to know that like I I, I feel like I passed the test. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel you good. You, you feel good when you pass the test, right? Yeah. It's like time to celebrate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we might have kids. <laughs> I'm thinking cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Yeah, yeah. While I'm trying to do something spiritual. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but go ahead, go ahead, keep going. Yeah, so I mean that's just kind of what I had of just that, you know, we are just standing and we're seeing just ready and God mm -hmm. is ready God and he is, ready. is just he's gonna bring mm. the spiritual to to the physical realm and it's just going to explode and it's gonna be I'm awesome. gonna talk about the pillars because mm -hmm. you had a vision that you saw pillars throughout the mm -hmm. earth yeah it was, throughout, it was the throughout the earth not just the United States no and these pillars were very strong I mean and it's like when you think about a pillar, it has to uphold something very heavy. Oh, Lord Jesus, help me. Because, I mean, if you think about the glory of God, one of the definitions of the glory of God is weightiness, yeah. heaviness. You know, and Lana Vosser has been talking about an invitation from the Lord to receive the fire from the Lord. I think it's the same thing. You know, there's going to be a massive transformation that happens, even for us, in our person, in our in our who we are, where we just, 
you know, where you be, you be, I've been doing this thing with my wife where I've been like, you are Wonder Woman. I'm <laughs> telling you, the Lord is telling you, you're Wonder Woman. You know, you're not, you know, Clark Kent or, you know what I mean? It's like, imagine if Clark Kent didn't realize he was Superman. He would be just the nerdiest dude on the planet. No one would want to hang out with him, but he's <laughs> Superman. You know what I mean? Yeah. And sometimes that's what happens with us. We, we think we're just, you think you're Diana Prince. But you don't realize uh, you're Wonder Woman. Okay, you're a god killer. Okay, we're getting... Oh, I just gave away some of the movie, didn't I? <laughs> My bad. I can't edit that out <laughs> from your brain. <laughs> I'm sure I'll forget by Spoiler the Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah. But so, about the pillars. And I felt like the Lord was saying, like, see, this is why I had to do the heart mm -hmm. work before you go in. Because you can't put a pillar... You can't set up a pillar and then put something heavy on it if that pillar has got cracks and tears and imperfections in it. Yeah. You know, so basically God can't set his glory and his fire and his spirit and everything he wants to do. He can't set that on us if we've still got issues undealt with that we have refused to repent of, that we've refused to let him take care of. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, I don't want to say this, but I kind of have to. <laughs> But I feel like the Lord's saying that is why, oh, that is why there's going to be some people who are believing for a breakthrough and want a breakthrough, um, but they won't get it. <clears throat> Not nearly to the degree that he wanted to give it to them because there's certain areas that they said, hey man, you need to give that up or hey, you need to start doing this or hey, you need to believe me for that and all that. And it's not going to happen because they didn't do it. They didn't allow God to take out Maybe, I don't know, the pride or the jealousy or the bitterness or the fear or the lack of trust or the, you know, because for me, man, I tell you what, I mean, the past couple of weeks has been tough for me, heart-wise. Yeah. Because, man, God has just been like, he's just taken my heart and slapped it on the counter and just, you know. Yeah. And I'm just, and I'm allowing him to do that. So you have to allow God to do that. If you don't, man, it's just like, I can't, I can't do anything with, with that heart. I can do what I used to do, but God's not trying to do what he used to do. He's trying to do what he wants to do. He's progressive. Yeah. He's the only true progressive in the universe. <laughs> <laughs> Had to go political there, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. Also, I almost forgot to say this, but when Michelle had this vision of the pillars, remember you saw us as a pillar, mm -hmm. and we where were we? In Nashville. Nashville, folks. <laughs> Holla. Yeah. <laughs> and there's just... I don't know, with that vision, it was like there was pillars all over the place, and it was like, and it was God placing people and families in certain areas because he want that's where he's, it, it really is, something. is he's building his church, yeah. you know, and it's like in the physical world, we're not literally building a church for God, it's, it's, we're building, it's the people, you know, the people are the church. So yeah. it's not, so in the spiritual, it's like he's, he really is building his church around the world and he wants everybody just as one body. Yeah. And, um, and that's just kind of what I was seeing was just that, that is what God is doing. And even when we were reading like to, during, during you know, God time. God time and <laughs> it, it's just interesting because last night it was like they, they were coming, the Israelites were coming back out of captivity. The captives returned. And um, it's just, that's really where we're at. You know, like God has said, like we're coming out of 70 years of captivity. And so there's a lot of things that are going to but change. And they said, what does it say? The celebration was yeah. so loud and it was heard for miles. Yeah. And it was like, whoa, but then because of that celebration, enemies rose up and came after them. So, see, and that's why I think God's been sharing with me the whole religious thing. Because I think the enemies that are come going to come after us for what God's going to do for us, which I think is going to be, like, huge. It is going to have to do, part of it is going to have to do with money. Mm -hmm. There's going to be this huge financial increase, and the religious people are going to, and we're going to be celebrating, and we're going to be like, I can't believe this is actually happening. This is amazing. Then the religious people are going to creep up and start, yap, 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 and start pecking at you and start trying to attack what you, what God's done. 
as if it's not God. Oh, you're mm -hmm. just prosperity people. You better believe I'm a prosperity person. God wants to prosper me. <laughs> I mean, listen to me. Ho, 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 hold on a second. <laughs> hold on a second. Let, let's, let's just cut right to the core of the prosperity thing. When Jesus died, what was he doing? Ushering in you into poverty? No. What does heaven look like? Heaven, there is not a house. You can take every single house built on the planet right now, every single supercar that I love, put them all together on a scale, and the road of the kingdom is more expensive than all of that stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We're not even talking about God's house. We're not even talking about the many houses that God has for us in heaven. You see what I'm saying? See, and it's just a trick of the devil to get tripped up on these little things that aren't, they're not issues. They're non-issues, but the enemy tries to make them issues. Mm -hmm. and it's like Jesus is the most expensive thing ever given to humanity, and we will receive him, but then we want to accuse and attack our brothers and sisters for receiving something from God of a lesser value. That doesn't make any sense because yeah. it's the devil. And I'm done. Well, and, um, <laughs> but I do, I think that it's just ridiculous, that, man. That picture, or just the history of what happened with the Israelites, because then ultimately they celebrated and then their enemies did come against them and said, okay, no, because the whole point was they were going to rebuild the temple. They were going to rebuild the church for Ooh, God. I think I know where you're going and, with this. Um, <laughs> But then their enemies came in and they're like, no, 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 you can't do that. And so they were like, okay, well, we won't do that. But they went ahead and they, they built their houses and their gardens and, you know, their lives. And took 18 years before they started and it was a prophet that came and said hey like why why aren't you building god's house Haggai and zechariah yeah yeah and and so then see and i think that's the stage we're in we're we're in the past 18 years stage you know what i'm saying as a church we're i mean well, it's can oh I get to what I'm yes <laughs> living with devin <laughs> But no, I just think, though, that there is kind of like a warning or just um, in the fact that it's like God can bring us into, because right now he really does want to rebuild his church. He wants to take it from the foundations and build it up. And I think, though, that there can be like it, as we go through the breakthrough and, if, you know, the enemies are coming against us, it could be very easy to then just say, okay, well, I'm just, I'm going to focus on this small area, like, th that God's given me. I'll just focus on my, my life. life, and, hey, you know, and I'll build, <laughs> build up my life, and, and, you know, do the best that I can with that, when the truth is, that's not, that wasn't the purpose, intent, you know, it was that God's like, I want to build my church, and so you're going to have to fight to continue to do what God's going to have you do because I think that's what some of the um, other prophetic people we've heard is that there's this warning like you know Satan's going to change his tactics to just trying to get you off of what you're supposed to be doing mm -hmm. and it's like hey you know if there's it's like, well, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be doing that, you know, and it, it can come through the religious spirit, you know, oh, well, that's not true, you can't, people can't do this, people can't be healed, people can't, like, what are you talking about, God doesn't work like that, and you can allow that to keep you, and just say, well, okay, well, I'll just pray for healing for my family, we'll see God move here, but it's like, no, God wants to move in the lives of his entire body, Flood his entire earth. church, and yeah. really the entire earth because, yeah. you know, it's about the harvest. It's about getting people from the darkness into the light. And so I just think that we need to be aware of that and, you know, that even when people come against you, it's like, well, that just means we're moving in the right direction <laughs> and just keep going and don't don't allow that to shut, shut you down. And don't punch him in the face. Yeah. <laughs> and um, because the truth is what God's doing is phenomenal. It's, it's going to be literally just mind-blowing because we've never seen anything like it before. And um, 
and you just you don't want anything to come against you to stifle that or to even shake your belief that that can happen even if you've been through it it's like you know what God can do don't let somebody else tell you God can't do that even though you've actually Especially just experienced when he's done it. it exactly <laughs> and I'm just like he's done it people who don't get it are people who've never got it you see what I'm saying and that's the thing with the Samaritans that wanted to come. Well, we're going to come help you build the house of God. You know what? That's what's going to happen. Religious people are going to like, well, we're going to come along and help you in your ministry so we can shape it and make it to be what we think it should be. Mm -hmm. See, and religious people want to come in and try to make it be what they think church should be. Like, no. And then there's going to, and then I think one of the problems is that, that relational tension that we don't like. And, which can give way to fear and political correctness, and then it will allow the enemy to come in and shape what God's doing the way he wants it or contaminate it or deform it. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you just can't. It's like, oh, I just put on a post today. Like, like you're either going to fight or fright. You know, you're going to either fight or you're going to be afraid and give in. Yeah. It's like, those are the only two options we ever have, you know? Mm -hmm. So, I think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you have anything to say about you were like the eighteen years? You think that we're past those eighteen years, or something like that? I do. I think we're past. I don't. I don't think we're in that season where I think we've already had those opportunities where God's tried to move. I, th uh, I think that's what past revivals were all about. Mm -hmm. Those times where God was trying to return the captives, but then they got. They, they turn the revival all about themselves, and it's like, okay, God's like, I'm, I'm done with this. I'm not going to keep entertaining you guys. You know, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to do something here, and it became more about, you know. And then the enemy came in and just did some, some damage, and then those things just fizzled. I don't believe this is something that's going to fizzle because it's going to be located in here, mm -hmm. and in here, and in you. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That's so. It's like I think that's why it's going to sustain. Because it's going to be about men and women and children of God just seeking God and only God. And that, and they're just going to be firebrands, you know? So God, the enemy even God can, saying, like, at last, at last I yeah, have even a God, group of people yes. <laughs> that can actually build at my house. At last, my vision is going to come to <laughs> pass. My hope deferred heart will no longer be sick. I will have a people to call my own who will do and go wherever I want them to do mm -hmm. and go, etc. You know, yeah. Because I think it's easy to have God pour out on a house yeah. of God, and then the enemy can just, all right, well, just, yeah, you know, the big plane comes over, drop the bucket, and you can just destroy that house. Yeah. Or you can put out the fire of that house, and everything, all God's movement and all that is located in this house and in this service. That's easy to put out, I think. Yeah. If it doesn't go out, then it will go out. You see what I'm saying? If it doesn't go out, it will be put out. Mm -hmm. And so I just feel like God's saying now, it's like, no, the revival is going to come like this. Mm -hmm. You know, it's going to come down on individuals who, like Lana Vosser was saying, who give God their yes. Yeah. No matter what, Lord, yes. You know, and so, but in the process, you have to deal with religious people. And that's re I really am just bothered by that right now. Because I'm just, I mean... If you guys know me by now or if you don't, man, I am just, I'm a fighter almost to a fault. <laughs> I mean, I, I think that's one of my weaknesses that the enemy will probably try to use against me to get me to fight. He's like, ooh, just, ooh, go say this to Devin. Go say that. Well, he'll get, he'll get riled up and, and then I'll get in the flesh. Mm -hmm. And I mean, when I say I want to punch people, I'm being serious. <laughs> I want to. I don't, I've never done it, ever. I mean, I've known the Lord for 20-some years, and I've never punched anybody in the face. I have wanted to a long time. But, you know, I, I think there's some things it's like you want to grow out of, but it's like, Lord, when am I ever going to not be that person? It's like, um, well, you're just going to have to learn how to Manage. <laughs> mature. Because <laughs> you are a fighter, brother. So, anyway, that's all I got. Yep. All right, well, God bless. Uh, <laughs> thanks for joining the Devin and Michelle Lavor Show. <laughs> <laughs> and here's a word from our sponsor. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, anyway, God bless you guys. 
we will see you again next soon. video. <laughs>